So we are in our final week in the lead up to Christmas. Uh, it's Monday the 20th of December. We've got three days left till the last post goes. So which everything gets sent deeply on the last day to ensure it arrives on Christmas Eve. Uh, this week's going to be a very, very busy week. We've got 5,500 parcels to send out the door by Thursday and we've still got orders coming in. Uh, this year we've actually been able to extend our last order dates well, on some of the brands all the way up to the all the way up to Thursday, which is good because last year we had to cut off everything by sort of 17 days in December. Uh, as you know, it takes a lot to print and fulfill all the orders. Uh, you know, we're sort of hand making, hand stuffing, uh, sewing, printing, and packing it, so it takes a little longer to get out the door than your, your average pick and pack job. Eh? So the next well, all hours from 6 a.m. to 2 3 a.m. in the morning. Uh, the guys are busy here, printing away, showing all the orders to get out of Christmas. Uh, all in all, it's been a really busy Christmas. Uh, been very positive. I think it's been a lot less stressful this year than the previous years. So I'm not too sure why. Uh, maybe because it's all been perfectly run, managed. Who knows? Uh, but everyone's sort of been helping out and uh, doing what they can. So all in all, very happy. Luke, the sock smuggler, who's come over from Ireland again. Um, We're selling too many socks, so we need more socks to bring over to Dublin. Yeah. So for a second time running, unfortunately, shipping um, companies have let us down. Uh, so Luke made a trip over last Tuesday, was it? One week ago, yeah. One week ago, so um, seems like it's coming over every Tuesday now. Um, but basically, we'll, yeah, we'll see you next Tuesday then, Luke. See you next see you Tuesday. Tuesday. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but yeah, selling lots of socks in store at the moment, probably doing um, 200, 250 a day? Yeah, 200 a day at least, yeah. Yeah, 200 a day at the moment, so um, you know, what we now three days left in store before Christmas, um, so really ramping up and it's quite busy in store, isn't it? Yeah, over this morning, back in two hours, back with the socks for a busy lunchtime. 6.25 wake, well, not wake up, fly. Four, I was awake at 4 a.m. 4 a.m. 6.25 flight, back on the 12 o'clock flight. Back, on back the in floor. store at one o'clock with the socks, printing them for all the customers. Keep them happy. You like, you like the Irish Santa Claus? The Irish Santa Claus. <laughs> what am I doing with my life? <laughs> <laughs> no, but fair play to Luke. He's, um, yeah, he, uh, He's, uh, he comes over with no hesitation, just basically says, we need socks, the customers, the customers want them, so. Um, now I say, Max, I'm coming over, I need the socks, yeah. we need to print them. <laughs> we can't have long waits for the customers, they want the socks now. <laughs> I'll see you in two hours, Max, pick me up from the airport, and he does. Yes, we've kind of, we've, it's been a bit, well, in waves, it's coming in waves, really. I don't know <laughs> It's coming in waves. Um, yeah, it's coming in waves. The whole lockdown period was really busy for us. We went from where it kind of dropped massively and we were a bit worried, we furloughed everyone. And then within two, three days, literally everyone was coming back and we said, back off furlough, we need you in the warehouse, bring your orders because it just, it was kind of like Christmas in March, April really, which was, which would, was well, great for us really, given the, given the situation. And then now, coming to Christmas, we didn't really know what to expect. So we, were, we were actually tracking a lot less than last year. So I was thinking, oh, actually that's, you know, it's a bit interesting. I think there's lots more. Well, there's lots more competition online. Uh, there's lots more people advertising. Facebook ads, Google ads. It's a lot more difficult. So traffic was down, sales were down, and then we're up by about 30% from last year, uh, which is good. I mean, that will have helped by these just the next three days as well. Because uh, every 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 day that we lost last year is a big day on sales. Uh, as most of you'll know, is everyone orders their Christmas presents last minute. So for us, actually cutting off last year was, was a bit disappointing, really. So the fact that we can go right up the way to the right up to the wire this year uh, is brilliant because we just get all those last-minute people looking for last-minute gifts and socks and snugsies and dog portraits and prints. The Irish mule. <laughs> it was actually that smuggler for Mark, wasn't it? The Peru Yeah, she was from Northern Ireland. Uh, it was a Scottish girl and a Northern Irish girl. Northern Irish girl. Yeah, so, so they'll, open, they'll open up his suitcase, see a bunch of white bags, and they'll be like, they'll be like, <laughs> in, the, in the room, yeah. no socks. We're, we're testing no the socks. socks. <laughs> Smelling the socks. Yeah. Uh, so it's Wednesday, the 22nd of December. We're officially in the final stretch. We've got just over 24 hours to go until the last order will ship out the building. Uh, as it stands, we have around 1,000 to 1,200 orders to get out the door. Uh, by tomorrow, which uh, I mean, we will definitely do. Um, we had 8,500 on Friday, 
So we worked through the weekend, through the nights, the last sort of four, um, four or five days, just to, to get as much as you possibly can shipped out as early as we can. Uh, I think there's lots of, been lots of issues with couriers and delays with delivery. So we actually wanted to get ev out everything as early as possible. So it got there either on Christmas Eve or the day before. We actually cut off some of our production lines a bit early, which all that we, all that we didn't want, really want to do, we thought we had to do because if not, the orders just wouldn't go out. Um, with having multiple different production lines, it's just kind of managing that whole process is very difficult because we have things like socks and underwear and cushion fabric, fleece fabric, all running through different production lines. So th this year we've managed that really well. Uh, obviously myself and a lot of the guys have been in here now for 30, 40 days straight, working till 1, 2 a.m. So, you know, they've done a really good job, uh, you know, in, in getting us to the position we are, we are now today and that actually all the orders are going to get out probably a day early, which is really, really nice. It was a, a little less stressful. I think in the previous years, we've, um, the last few days have been pretty manic, we've been very stressful. We've been sort of thinking, well, are we going to do it right to the wire, to the, to the point where people are sprinting around the warehouse, tossing the, the, the parcel to delivery guys just to get them out, to, get them out the door. Just putting the socks at the very beginning. <laughs> Not when we were at home. The original machine. The original machine, four pairs, was it four pairs? There's four pairs that went, then went to six pairs, so it's all good. It's all good. Yeah, it's all good. How's it been this year? How's it been this year? A lot better. It's got a bit of fun to do. It's got a few of the speed. Yeah, a few of the speed. Now I have a shampoo, but it's not with socks and stuff. There we go. Full experience. Yeah, it's not too bad. Going in, the earphones in, your zone out, just stop. You learn your techniques. Trying to get them the proper softness. Yeah, yeah. Get them all out for Christmas. Get them all done for Christmas. That's it. Uh, How's Christmas been, Alex? It's been pretty straightforward this year. Yeah, last year it was so hectic. Everything was everywhere. But this year, we know what we're doing. Yeah, smooth sailing. <laughs> um, well, better than last year because you know. You all up today? Yeah, it's been busier, but it's been a lot easier. But, Great stuff. Server. Nice to go there. Yeah, I still really enjoy it. It's been an absolute pleasure and never a chore. I'm about Adam to run us. Yeah. Adam's been running the joint. There he is, the main man. How's Christmas gone this year, Adam? Great. Right. Compared to previous years. <laughs> what are you saying? All good. Nice and controlled. Almost there. Going through the final orders. How's it been, been going? Good, yeah. Um, I think everything is well organised. Everything is going smooth. So it's been a good year, as I said. You enjoyed yourself? Yeah, definitely, man. Definitely enjoyed every bit of it this year, I must say. There we are. There we go. <laughs> what? You like, you like being next to these guys? Yeah. No, 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 yeah, you look every bit. That's very nice of you. Yeah, some of the guys that actually temp with us uh, three or four years ago are actually still coming back every year, which is nice whether they're on uni or just looking for some part-time work after their jobs, which is good. So there's a few f familiar faces um, uh, around this year. Uh, but all in all, I think we're in a really good position leading up to the, the last post day tomorrow. Uh, I'm really, really happy just in general how everything's gone. Uh, Everyone here has done a fantastic job, worked really hard uh, every single day for the, you know, for the last 30, 40 days really, um, to get to the position where we're at. So all in all, very, very happy. And actually this year I can officially say it's the least stressful it's ever, ever been. I mean, we've definitely put the hours in, but actually coming into the last few days, being able to uh, you know, tidy up and finish, finish Christmas on a high is, is brilliant. So all in all, very happy. What's uh, your post-Christmas plans? Are you going to have a, a nice spa day? post-Christmas plans, a uh, spa day. <laughs> uh, who knows? I'll, I'll probably look to go on holiday in January, but I think over the Christmas period and, and the New Year, I think I'm looking forward to sitting in a dark, quiet room, relaxing, listening to calm, listening to the karma, and just, yeah, not doing anything. But then I'm also planning for the next year, I think, just straight after Christmas, there's so much we can always do better and things that kind of, I don't want to get boxed off straight away in January that actually, just between Christmas and New Year, I actually sit and kind of review everything and see how things went and, and 
really start planning for 2022, which is crazy really, because the year is flying by. I, I want to work in the head office, super socks in Birmingham, I'm fed up of Ireland. Max, can I have a job? Max, can I have a job here? Maybe. <laughs> And probably get a few more in there too for that. And then we're fine. One more, one more box. Yeah, two minute box. One more box. That's fine. Oh, well, I think we've enough. Uh, we've enough socks for today, tomorrow, and then when we get to Wednesday, and you go, oh, I wish ah, I'd wish I'd taken those extra Max, 180. I know more pounds. socks. I wish I'd taken those extra 180 pairs. Oh, okay. Well, it's, yeah, whatever. We've learned the hard way this Christmas. Um, but it was nice to come over. The big, yeah, biggest challenge we've had with going into Ireland is obviously sending the stuff there. Everything else is that. It's Brexit. Big... I, I blame Brexit. Yeah, yeah. It's I mean, slower to delivery to time. For us to ship there at the moment, it costs about £11 for a pair of socks. So when you add that on to, if you have £5 shipping on um, that, and some of the online orders, you know, you're, yeah. you're, you're losing out £6 every, every pair that you sell. So, um, a bit of a nightmare, but I guess that's what Brexit is, isn't it? In other, I'm not getting paid for this. Fly Ryanair. It's cheaper to fly Ryanair. Pick up the socks yourself and then fly back. Cheaper yeah, than yeah. the courier. That's actually true, yeah. It's about <laughs> £250 for the courier. And Luke's flown over for £100. Drove to the, car, uh, drove to the, the airport. Four yeah. pound in diesel. Yeah, four pound in diesel. So it's probably about 120 quid cheaper for him to actually fly out here. And we get to see his lovely face. Crazy. So, uh, Charlie, 2022, what does, that, what does that hold? So having had a pretty hectic uh, end of the year, just with Christmas orders and it's just been manic for the last two months. I think January 2022 is, is definitely time to just kind of stop, reflect and then look where we want to take the business moving forward. Uh, I think we've got lots of exciting things planned for the new year. We've obviously got the uh, US launch that's been put on hold uh, and I decided to just pause due to needing to come back here really just to make sure Christmas uh, was crushed and everything went out okay and uh, everything ran really smoothly. Uh, we have the Petsopia launch, which we were hoping to get launched this year, but we didn't uh, quite manage that. That was due to launch in November. We had to push that back um, due to a few technical issues. Uh, so really, really looking forward to getting that live January, Feb, which is really exciting. And we've also got a good digital agency. We kind of, um, we've done a little bit of agency work, whether it's video, creative, uh, SEO and paid marketing, but definitely in, uh, the new year, that's something that we're looking to push and uh, increase because we get a lot of businesses that come to us and see our creative for the brands that we do and go, you know, could you do that for us? So we've, we've taken on a few projects this year which have actually gone really well, we're really happy with. So definitely in January, February, that's something we're looking, looking to increase, uh, hopefully increase the team and then possibly something that we could expand to in America as well. So lots to reflect on in, in, in January. And it's just always after Christmas having it been, having, it being so busy, it's just a really, January's a really nice month just to look at everything and go actually, you know, what can we do better, what can we improve on, uh, where else the business can go really. The production team will have a bit of a pause for the first two weeks, get everything realigned, get everything set and ready to go again for Valentine's Day. So, all in all, really happy. What a lovely sight, the bins being empty. The calm after the storm. You got any uh, New Year's resolutions? Do you make them? New Year's resolutions. Uh, health is the big thing. Health in 2022 is going to be the main focus. Something which I uh, don't look after in these busy months. So I started, I came back, I was going to the gym every day, and from October to, well, end of October maybe, three, four weeks, and I've stopped completely. So me and Max haven't been. I don't think since yeah end of October. So health, uh, what else? And automation. We want to automate everything in the warehouse. Any production processes that we've got, we want to automate. There's lots that we're doing manually here at the moment, which we need to, to improve on, and will allow us to, to fulfil orders quicker. I think, as I've touched on before, everyone wants their orders so quickly now, uh, and they expect them the next day. I think that's something that we need to we need to move to moving forward. Automation, health, America. Those are, the, those are the three big focuses next year and and have a relax have a relax and chill catch up with you on the, on venice beach yeah you might see me on venice beach yeah maybe in, Feb, in february i think i'll be here for another month probably after after christmas january february maybe and then head, head, head back get everything sorted in in base 
and then make my way back to the States. Off I go. And there we have it. 20, 2022. All the orders have gone out. Last post is gone. Warehouse is empty. No more products anywhere. <laughs> this shit is bananas. Charlie taking some rest. Oh. Any words? Oof. Be the shambles, look a shambles. But all in all, super happy because all the orders went out the door. Every so, single one? Does that beat last year? Every single one. The, the Buy Xmas tab on the shipping platform says zero. So, happy days. Is that the first Christmas ever that's happened? Yeah, first Christmas that we have ever shipped everything after it being super hectic and stressful the last two years. Everyone's sprinting around the last, what, five, ten minutes to try and get as many orders in the van as possible. But this year, as you can see, it's a very pretty much empty and quiet warehouse with no orders left in the building. So everyone's going to be pretty happy. So, yeah, all thanks to the great team, to Max behind the camera and the print production customer service staff and everyone at Nerdy Banana, Super Socks. Uh, yeah, all in all, very happy. Merry Christmas and we'll see you in 2022. <laughs> right in my face. I'm like, I'm looking down. <laughs> I'm looking over there and I'm thinking, I'm, I'm starting to think about a pillow. <laughs> I don't know why. Um, the attention span of a fish. <laughs>